Breaking news, the Atlanta Hawks have done absolutely nothing in free agency. And at this point in time, I'm honestly not very shocked. I know that the Atlanta Hawks and some Atlanta Hawks fans want to see them make a big move to change the roster. But to me, there's a lot going on. And in this video, I'm going to unpack what I think the status of the Atlanta Hawks are and potential free agent suitors that I think the Atlanta Hawks will go after. Now, a lot of people are saying a lot of things about the Atlanta Hawks, about the lack thereof. I'm seeing sleeping emojis regarding uh, Landry Fields. I'm seeing them basically being LeBron, prime LeBron when it comes to not doing anything in the free agency. And to be completely honest, I think this is true. But I think the Atlanta Hawks had two plans coming into this point of time and building for the future. Number one, I think they're a build for the future organization. I don't think they're willing to spend money now that will kind of hinder the growth of the team and growth of the current young players on the roster. And I think they feel that they have the needed potential pieces to do to make a deep run in the playoff. Now, whether I agree or, with, or not with that, that's not what I'm saying. But I will say, Landry Fields has made it very, very, very apparent that they're not going to spend money and assets by getting guys. Now, they're willing to take their time, get guys for the future, get long defensive athletic wing players to play with quote-unquote Trey Young right now. And I think this holds true in free agency. They haven't budged, they haven't signed anybody, and they haven't impacted their, or their roster right now. Now, second wave, second thing that I think they're going to do in free agency, and second reason why I don't think they've made any moves for free agency, I think our owner is cheap, to be completely honest. I think right now there are currently, I think, $9 million under the luxury tax, and I think they're trying to stay there. I don't think Tony Ressler is willing, even though he'll say, I'm willing to spend money. He's not willing to spend money, especially on a team that's quote unquote not that good. And I think right now they're in a good position. If they go out and sign who knows, Harkenstein or whoever, they'll be over that luxury tax. And the owner does not want to be over that luxury tax because he's all about making money. And a lot of fans say he's all about making money over winning games. Now that's neither here nor there, but I'm just saying. Now in regards to the future and what the Atlanta Hawks are going to do, I think they're going to make a couple moves. Number one, they're going to trade probably Clint Capella or Yeka Kongu. I think that is what's going to happen. They're not going to run three centers who played or will play significant minutes. I think one of those guys are the odd man out. And to be completely honest, I think it's the guy whoever demands the most trade value in return. I think right now Clint Capella is sitting at a first round pick. And if the Atlanta Hawks get the first round pick that they like, I think they're going to trade Clint Capella. I also think it's in their favor that Harkenstein signed a 40 plus million dollar deal or uh, whatever he signed, which is pretty much insane. And that $20 million value from Clint Capella on an expiring contract looks really, 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 really good for some teams. And so I think Clint Capella is a good trade piece, especially for teams who don't currently have a center on the roster. Teams that such as the Miami Heat, teams such as Memphis Grizzlies, those teams who need a starting caliber center on the roster. And all the centers have pretty much been signed up to this point with in Arkenstein or whatever his name for crazy amounts of money. And so they're looking like, hey, we still need a center. Let's go get Clint Capella. Now on the reverse side, Onyeka Kongu is still out there and he may demand some trade value as well. He's a young center. He is undersized, which is why I think we may need to think about trading him, but that, that's neither here nor there. But he has a lot of value for him in the future. And there are some teams, those teams I just listed, who need a young athletic big man who can grow with them in the future. And I think Onyeka Okongwu fits the bill. Regardless of that, I think the Atlanta Hawks need to trade because they cannot play Kit Capella, Onyeka Okongwu, and Larry Nance on the same team, on the same court, because there's just not simply enough minutes. Now, second thing that in regards to what I think the Atlanta Hawks should do, I think they need to get a backup point guard, one that does not take time away from Kobe Bufkin, but they need to get up a back, get a backup guard who can make and initiate offense. And they need to get them for pretty cheap in free agency. Now, one person that I kind of thought and that came to mind previously when free agency started was Tyus Jones. Individuals like that. Or maybe another one, Seth Curry. 
Guy who can play point guard, but who's known he can play off ball. He doesn't need the ball to score. He can shoot. He can make plays. Those individuals, I think they need to get another one of those guys to just build out the roster. Right now, heading into the season, all the true point guards we have, or the true guards, is Trey Young and Kobe Bufkin. And I think we need to build some depth in that position and spend up until that luxury cap uh luxury tax to get that guard i also think they need to make a small acquisition maybe get some like i said shooting guard or shot creation depth a lot of their shot creation guys have kind of gone off the board kelly Oubre is gone and so i think they need to dig deep maybe find a shot creating guy for maybe six or seven million sign him stay under that luxury tax and i think that's something they will do but i think in regards to free agency they're going to be very 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 quiet because they want to save money and they want to play the guys that they have on the roster. Simple as that. So would I make a big splash in free agency if I was the GM? Yes, I think they need to make moves, but I'm not the GM. And Landry feels, I'm just glad he's come out with a direction. He's made it abundantly clear. Hey, we're going to take our time. We're going to get the Hawks DNA guys, whatever that means. And we're going to build through the draft, I guess, and build this team slowly if it's if it does it work or does it not work i don't know i'm just glad he's given us a strategy because about two weeks ago i had no idea what this dude is doing and some atlanta hawks fans say we still don't know what this guy is doing now if you agree or disagree with me leave a comment down below let me know i want to see the atlanta hawks make moves in free agency but i just simply think they will not do that especially as we see big names coming off the board i would love to say hey this is an atlanta hawk but that's just simply not going to happen and if you want to see more videos like this check this one out right here and like always peace